Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is Xlantech with another tutorial for you. Today I will teach you how to clean your memory so that you won't get this error anymore. Could not complete your request because the scratch disks are full in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. And to be able to fix this the only thing you will need to do is head over to your Windows Explorer and head over to your this PC. After you do that, click on View, which will be located somewhere around here in your Windows Explorer. Make sure the hidden items are checked. And then go to the local disk C and you will see some files which are faded and that are basically the files which were hidden and then click on users and then go to your folder to your main user folder which is excellent tech for me and i will go then to app data which is a hidden file and everything basically around here is a hidden file so go to local and click on TEMP and after that you will see that 67 gigabytes of my memory is stored around here and you can delete it really easily just select everything around here and click on delete and you will see that it actually won't delete and the reason for that is because I opened these files in Photoshop if I exit this file the 64 gigabytes, or how many was it? The 67 gigabytes which I have left in my local disk C are going to appear once again. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna skip this and I will we'll see how many memory do I have left. And I have zero bytes basically I don't have any memory left and to get my memory back now I will need to exit Photoshop with my command task manager so click control plus alt plus delete on your keyboard just like this and then go to your task manager and exit Photoshop once I did that I will see that my memory returned how it was but sometimes this won't be the case. Sometimes, even if you exit Photoshop, the memory is gonna stay uh, inside of your files. So, head over to local C, head over to users, head over to what we were doing before this, and you will see that there is no Photoshop file which is now opened. But if I example for example if I restart my computer and then some time passes my uh, storage is gonna fill up once again with unneeded cache file memory which is totally undisputable and this is the local disk D so now my job will be to transfer all of my files all of my cache files from local disk C to local disk D and to do that you will need to follow me. It's pretty easy. So, some people do this. Let me show it to you guys. So now, when I open Photoshop, I will need to wait a little bit for the files to load up. So now, when the files got loaded, I'll head over to Edit and then go to Preferences. And after that, I'm gonna click on Scratch Disks. And you'll see that only the local disk C is available. But I don't wanna do that. So this folder makes your cache files go from a uh, different drive and currently I have only the local disk uh, C drive here but I have in reality I have a local disk C and local disk D but it won't show it and the sad story of this is that if I uh, for example if I open Photoshop and run it as an administrator my 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 local disk D is gonna start to appear but first I will need to exit Photoshop 
and I will need to close these files one by one so that it will load a little bit faster the next time. So I'm gonna exit the files, click on Control plus Alt to push delete, Task Manager, and Adobe Photoshop C and Task, just like that. And then search for Photoshop, right click on it and run as administrator. And now, when Photoshop is opened, I will see that my local disk C drive is available. But not only the local disk C drive, also my local disk D drive. And basically, uh, this mistake every, every guy gets when he comes around this step. So I will click on scratch disk and I will see the local disk D. So basically what I did, I ran my Photoshop with as an administrator. And so I will see that I have local disk D. So now when I check my local disk D to receive all of the cache files inside and click on OK, nothing is gonna start to appear. If I, for example, open these files, as you can see, it just it uh, just moves me to the home page of the Photoshop, which is this guy here, and that's basically it. You cannot store any memory with just going to preferences and scratch disks. But for some of you guys, this may work. So I highly advise you to try it out and test it yourself. But for those guys who are having trouble with this, they will need to do this and they will move their memory from local disk C to local disk D. I mean the cache memory stored from Photoshop CC 2018 from local disk C to local disk D. And to do that, type in advanced system settings in your search bar on your Windows or your Mac. And click on view advanced system, click on environment viral labels and then click on TEMP twice on it and then change the browse directory. Head over to this PC, head over to local disk D and choose a folder where your TMP cache files are gonna be stored now. So I obviously I'm gonna store it in the local disk D because it has a lot of memory than the local disk C which gets filled every day for me. So now also, you will not forget the TMP folder to change from the local disk C to the local disk D and you want to place it in the same folder as the TEMP. So basically, you want this one and this one to be in the same folder. And after you did that, click on OK, click here on OK and once you open Photoshop and everything starts to load you'll see that the local disk D, for now, is gonna start to decrease. A bit by bit, and you can actually see that live. These files which are now opening, they do not contain a lot of cache memory, so I will try to open one that has a lot of memory to use. For example, I will use this one and once I open it around 5 to 10 gigabytes of my memory should disappear from the local disk D. So instead of 360 gigabytes it should have around 312 gigabytes so that's around 4 gigabytes less. And as you can see it's still open it's still opening and loading the file and it's starting to decrease the local disk D memory. And it's decreasing a bit by a bit. And I don't, guys don't, do not want to wait for this to load. You already saw that. So now I'm gonna exit Photoshop with my command, uh, <coughs> with my task manager, and click on end task. And my memory for local disk D should appear. This won't be the case for 
the future. Like I told you, so this memory also can be filled with cash even if you exit Photoshop like I told you before. So your job will be to once in a while, maybe weekly, maybe daily, you will need to head over to your folder where your cache is located and you will need to clean it a bit by a bit. Also, when you want to clean the cache inside of your local DC, never forget to show your hidden files which are located here. And that's everything guys that I wanted to show you. But before I end this tutorial, I want to show you guys my service which I offer on Fiverr which is creating custom YouTube thumbnails and custom YouTube banners. The link will be down in the description. As you can see now on the screen, these are some examples which I made for my clients on Fiverr. So if you are interested, definitely check that out. And uh, that's basically it guys for this tutorial. Like, share and subscribe and I will see you the next time. Peace.